Okay, Sy systematic lupus erythematosus. What is system? What is system? System. What is systematic lupus erythematosus? Well, we'll break it down. Systemic. Systemic basically means affects multiple organs within our body. And then we have erythema. Er, then we have erythematosus. What does it stand for? Well, basically, erythematosus reddening of the skin, which we usually get, which we usually get when our skin is irritated. And then next we have lupus. Ru the Latin word lupus is a Latin word for wolf, but in the modern day, lupus means disease affecting the skin, and because most of the abrasions on the skin looks like wolf bites, that is why I got the word lupus. So basically, it's like disease affecting the skin that looks like wolf bite. Okay, so systemic lupus erythematosus. How does this? How does lupus affect the body? So usually, our immune system protects the tissues from invaders. So we basically have these. So we basically have these three minions or green or green creatures that represent our immune systems. And we know that our we know that our immune system protects the tissues from invaders. But lupus lupus being an autoimmune di autoimmune disease means that the immune cell starts to attack the very tissue that it's supposed to protect us from invaders. So basically, instead of instead of these, instead of our immune system protecting it from invaders, they they start they start to attack our own cells or our own tissues. Okay, so systemic lupus erythematosus. So we'll go back. We'll go back and see what systemic stands for. As we already discussed, systemic is an uh, systemic is an autoimmune disease, which means it affects any tissues and any organs within our body. So, let's set up a scenario. This person, Penny Proud, has a susceptibility gene. Genes that makes makes her susceptible to getting lupus. So it's in her genes. So let's say Penny goes out for a little Penny goes out for a little stroll. She forgets her sunscreen. So when she's she's then exposed to radi UV radiation. And along with that, along with that, her DNA is also exposed to UV radiation. And the DNA within the within her cells become damaged. Exposing the inside of the cell, including including the nucleus, to up to the rest of the body. What are symptoms of lupus? One of the huge symptoms of lupus is is called malar rash, and it usually is at the bridge of the nose and under the cheekbone, and it looks like a butterfly. So it got the name butterfly rash. The name is derived from the Latin word mala, which means cheekbone. Um, it appears after sun exposure. Again, sun plays a huge role in the symptoms of lupus. UV UV radiation usually affects the symptoms of lupus. And basically, malaria rash some sometimes. It will destroy. It will destroy the skin's ability to make melanin. That's why mostly people who has the rash after their skin is like different color from the bridge of their nose. It can be mild or severe, but it's usually not painful. Okay, symptoms symptoms of lupus and the rest of the body. First, we'll talk about how. First, we'll talk about how lupus affects the brain. So, with the brain, so with the brain, how lupus affects the brain. So, basically, with the brain, there's usually there's you you'll usually have headaches, 
memory loss, and there will be confusion. And then with the stomach, there's you have nausea, vomit, you have nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and bladder infection. And then with the heart and the lungs, there's usually shortness of breath, and there will be some pain in the chest. And then with the fingers and the toes. They usually turn white or blue when exposed to cold or during stressful situations. And and along with this, most people with lupus will also have some form of arthritis, which which makes it very painful for them to move around. Okay. Protein that affects, protein affecting lupus. So, osteopotin. Osteo, yeah, osteopotin is a, pro, is, a, is a protein that is important for tissue in the context of inflammation. And it's also known, it's also known as OPN. And it has been recently linked or have been identified as having a role in the development of autoimmune diseases such as lupus. And although the word osteo stands for bones, because usually this protein is is used is used to heal bones, the, but this this protein has been has been expressed in tissues, or excessive has been expressed excessively in tissues because of lupus. So osteopotin, let's learn more about this protein. So basically, this is like a flat. 3D protein structure of osteopotin, as seen here. So basically with osteopotin, upon binding, the integrated receptors introduces a number of immune cells and then uses and then uses several signal transaction pathways to leak immune responses. And many autoimmune disease, autoimmune disease caused by this protein is due to missing exons. So caring, caring for lupus. At this moment, there's no care for lupus, but it's good to take care of your scent, your skin, and consult, consult your doctors for cream to relieve skin symptoms. And then, one with disease should eat healthy and exercise, practice good sun protection. And there has been a scientific study, CARE, a non-toxic therapy that uses synthetic synthetic peptides. That uses synthetic pop, synthetic peptides, small bits of protein that generates T cells. And these T cells help block and reduce auto antibody production to almost baseline level. And there's there is still an inactive research going on to see if to see if a non if this non toxic therapy can put lupus in remiss, remission for good. But most importantly, it is best with any other disease as well as lupus to know your symptoms. <laughs>